your excuses, I am not buying it. You are awesome, and I am Jay Diesel. How's it going, chaps? It has been quite a long time since we have last conversed. Well, over two months. I'm doing absolutely awesome now. I hope you chaps have been great since that time. Now I am back in full force. We'll be back to the pack and plays. We'll be back to the showcases, the pack openings, the content updates. In fact, speaking of content update, tomorrow make sure you log into mobile because the tip off program will be starting and we'll be getting ourselves a new master into the game. A 91 overall, James Harden for the two way lineup. Now, Honestly, the only bad thing about this card is the fact that he is a point guard and we already have the 92 overall Master Chris Paul. So you, I'm really hoping that this James Harden might be sellable. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. I don't know. He probably won't be. Let's be honest. He probably will not be auctionable. But if he is, that would be amazing because with that Chris Paul there, um, if you don't like running, if you like one more than the other, then you're probably just going to run one or the other and the other one's going to sit there and collect dust. But uh, besides all that, right now we've got two new legends into the game. You can see them right there. We have got Dekembe, Matombo, Mr. No, 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 not today himself. And we've got the Iceman, George Gervin, 91 overall. He is our set which means the Kembe Matombo will be in packs today and I hope chaps that we can pull this man we've got 300k worth of packs which is evened out to a 40 pack bundle so we've got that going for ourselves right now I also want to show you guys I finally got time to get back into playing mobile so you see I'm only two more head-to-head -head collectibles away from obtaining Mr. Russell Westbrook, 95 overall. So I've been grinding out. I've been grinding out head to head like a madman since I've been back. I've got um, 869,000 fans right now. So hopefully I will have this in the next like coming week or so that I can just keep playing these head to heads. The only problem is, is a lot of you chaps are not playing me back. A lot of people are not playing me back right now, and I used to get challenges like crazy. No one's challenging me anymore. I'll give you guys a look at my team right now. It's not where it used to be, but this is the lineup most people are having trouble with. Because every time I run this lineup, they always get me at least 3,000 fans. They're winning almost every quarter against my opponents. This team of Buddy Hield, James, Kyrie, Kevin Love, and Al Horford has been tearing guys apart. I'm telling you, this body healed. Forget about the Ben Simmons master phenom. Uh, no, no. Body healed is the best draft player out there. In my opinion, he is the absolute best. I really don't want to get rid of him. Uh, the fact that he's 84 overall, I'll probably upgrade him at some point. But body healed has been an absolute animal for me. He is, he, he is lovely. He is absolutely lovely. He has won me so many games just three after three after three i mean just look at him i mean like i said you know me i don't really care about guys overall um but of course having the nice overall i still haven't obtained that 88 overall franchise to get that uh um achievement which i still need to do but buddy here look at the guy he's got 83 shooting he's got 88 speed he's got an 85 three-pointer I mean, it's just amazing. He is sweet. And now with the uh, addition to the alley oops and everything, because I've missed all that. I've missed all that. And I was able to come back in like, wow, mobile has really, really changed. It has changed since I last played it. But yeah, this guy is absolutely amazing. And with the alley oops, this lineup is spectacular. Of course, I've been needing to upgrade Kevin Love at some point. But now that we've done all that, let's go ahead and dive into these packs. The Kembe Matumbo is out there to be had, and hopefully, there's none on the auction block right now. Hopefully, chaps, we will be the first ones to get him. Hopefully, there's just some elites in here, because I've been kind of cold on the elites lately. Elites have been evading me, although I did pull a Jimmy Butler, and a lot of elite cards are starting to go a lot higher than what they used to, because elites are getting rather scarce, man. A lot of 84 overall elite cards are going for well over 100k. And that's really good if you still got those players. We get a CJ McCollum. 
but we're looking for the red ones. Okay, Brook Lopez, not too bad, 82 overall. So let me know, chaps, what else you would like to see from me. Of course, I'll be doing my pack and plays, which I want to do an extreme pack and play. It's really called a pack and play quick sell, and it's an extreme version of pack and play where I have to play well with the lineup. Uh, otherwise, uh, there will be some quick selling going on, and oh, my, oh I, thought, sorry, I thought that was an elite player, but no, of course. The storylines really do, really do annoy me. I don't like those storylines at all. I really don't like them at all. Although the premium pack, I did get an elite out of the premium pack before, so not too bad. And two collectibles there. The impact players, I really wish they'd make the impact players sellable. That would be so nice. That'd be very nice if they were sellable. But, you know, with 10 elite trophies going into those sets, that's pretty crazy. But I might actually start to try to finish the Shaq set because I do need that uh, trophy master. I could have had him by now, but the only thing is, you know, I just don't want to put that many trophies into that set. And right now, we have not hit for one elite. There we go. Kawhi Leonard, 87 overall for the shooting lineup. Very good of Paul, of course, but we do have a global master, uh, Carmelo Anthony, in that lineup. But look at this, man. 82 shooting, and for a 72-3, Kawhi Leonard rarely ever misses three-pointers. Whether I have him or whether my opponent has him, he's just an amazing car. So that is a great pull. We spent 300k uh, on these packs, and he makes up for a good portion, if not half of that. Of course, we have Melo, so we will be selling that Kawhi Leonard to get some of our coins back. But Mr. Matombo, we would like for you to just stop on by and not say no, no, no to us. Come on, Matumbo. I know you've got to be lurking in one of these packs somewhere. Oh, Kristaps Porzingis. No, that's not a win. Speaking of that, man, the Knicks uh, might actually have a chance to be really good this year. Uh, you know, granted that uh, Chris Paul... Uh, Chris Paul, what am I talking about? Granted that Derrick Rose, Carmelo Anthony and them can actually play together. Melo's going to have to start taking... You know, he's gotten better at being a team player, so, you know, um, hopefully that works out for them because definitely I'd like to see the Eastern Conference get a bit more uh, competitive. But, of course, given that Kevin Durant has gone to the Golden State Warriors, everyone thinks it's a foregone conclusion who's going to come out of the West. But I'm not so sure, chaps. I think they'll have a pretty rough start. To, uh, it's going to take them a while to get um, meshed together. Before they start to really gel together, it's going to be a lot. There's going to be a lot of eyes on those guys, a lot of pressure, and obviously anything other than a championship is going to be a failure for that team. Definitely. But right now, it looks like Kawhi Leonard is going to be the only elite player that we pull unless we can clutch it out. Can we clutch him a tumbo in his last three packs? Reveal all. No, it's Jamal Crawford. Come on. Come on. Can we get at least one more elite? All right, last pack of Destiny. Can we do it, chaps? Can we get ourselves N E L E? No, it's Jared Jack. It's Jared. It's Jared Jack. I want to actually see how much that uh, Kawhi Leonard actually goes for. So K A W Kawhi is going for 170 right there. Um, 165. Lua, uh, uh, hey, at the end of the day, we've got ourselves well over 100k pool there. Very, very, very nice. I, I'll take that. I will definitely take that. So it looks like he shakes out about 165, 170. So that is a really, really good pool. So, chaps, is there anything else I want to go over? I don't think that there is as far as sets go. Um, I'll give you guys a look at where I'm at on all the masters. I'm so close to completing this Hassan Whiteside, but oh, having to wait for 250 events is just, they should really do an event that you can like maybe have it once every other day or something where you can do like, you know, multiple events where you can do um, one event like three times or four times just to give yourself a little boost because 250 is a lot to wait on, man. That is an absolute ton to wait on. Uh, the other ones, I've just got to get the head-to-heads. The Draymond Green, uh, I'm almost done with the head-to-heads on that one because I've only been using Buddy Hield and that small ball lineup for my head-to-head -head games. That's all I've been using. And uh, the events, of course, let's see where we're at actually on all those, really. Let's go to the Master Sets. Where you at? There you are. There you are, you cheeky little thing trying to hide from me. So, if we look at our live events, you'll see right here, we got 109 for two-way. 
125 for small ball, 130 for big man, 154 for defensive and 166 for our shooting lineup. Now head to head, I'm at 133 for the small ball lineup and you can see I only have 10 done for the shooting lineup. So I've been doing these kind of one at a time really. Uh, I still got to get the seasons done for the shooting lineup. Uh, but yeah, yeah, 133, we're almost there. We're almost there to getting that one done. But hopefully I'll have Hassan Whiteside maybe in a month. I, I don't know. The I just wish they would come up with some event that will allow you to uh, progress a little, just a little bit. I'm not asking them for everyone to get it done fast. I know it's supposed to be a grind, but just a little bit faster. <laughs> just a little bit faster or at least have every event for you to be able to select what lineup you want to want to use. So if I come to a trophy blitz, then I can go ahead and switch to my, you know, defensive lineup. But of course, you're locked to just this lineup here. I wish you were allowed to just use whatever lineup you wanted, and then you'd progress that way. But that's not how it is. It's a grind, and I hope you guys did enjoy this video. The next, the first, very first video video of like pack and plays and stuff will be out tomorrow, chaps. So definitely come back to that. It's probably going to take a while to get everyone back into the channel. So if you would, guys, share the video on Twitter, wherever else. Definitely follow me on Twitter so you know when I'm uploading a video. And plus, just to chat with me. You know what I'm saying? I chat a lot on Twitter. I tweet out a lot of things. There's a lot of great giveaways going on right now on Twitter. And I've just been trying to get my hands on whatever I can actually get my hands on right now. Just to help me out a little bit. But, guys, that is all for the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, a thumbs up would be super appreciated. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And as always, chaps, you are awesome. And I am Jay Diesel. See you around.